Hello everyone, and welcome to Star Clan Speaks, the Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge side series in which all of you take up the role of Star Clan. Star Clan is, in the Warrior Cats books, the cats who have lived and died and become part of the world of the ancestors in the stars. Often, Star Clan will speak to special cats in the clans, such as the medicine cats and the clan leaders, in dreams to help guide the clans to safety, and they'll often give omens to warn the clans of danger. In this series, we bring out StarClan's more curious side and allow you to leave questions that you may have for our cats in the comments section. And those questions end up turning into dreams that the cats of our clans will have so that they can answer you. Now remember, these are just the dreams of our sleeping cats. The things they say, do, or reveal in this side series are meant to show more about their current personality, and those personalities are always changing as time and the story goes on. Questions that are asked at one point might change if you ask them again in a few more weeks, and questions that directly are asked about the plot are probably not going to be answered, or at least not directly answered. After all, what would the fun be if StarClan knew everything about the future? Hopefully the answers the cats provide will give you some hints of things to come. So just remember, this is a side series that is specifically created to show you more about the characters and their personalities, their likes, their dislikes, everything about them on the inside that you may not have a chance to really see or understand when we're busy with the plots and busy with all of the days going by. And nothing that these characters answer during this series is meant to directly influence the plot. This is, for the cats after all, just a dream that they're going to forget when they wake up. And also, I would like to thank all of you for the amazing support on our very first StarClan Speaks episode when we took in your questions. There were almost 700 curious questions from all of you, and it really blew me away. I picked some of the ones that were top rated, so remember in all of these episodes to leave a little thumbs up on questions that you may have instead of that someone else has already asked. Instead of repeating the question, try to make sure no one else has asked it first, and then thumbs up if they have asked it, because it'll go up higher on the list and I'll know that more of you guys really want to see that answered. And also, thank you so much for the amazing support in terms of leaving likes. That really gave me a huge boost of energy, just like when we first started the Warrior Cat series. And because there were so many questions, and I know I'm not going to be able to answer all of the ones that I really want to, just if I do this once a week, I will put the offer out there that if we hit around 400 likes on these videos, and this is just if you guys want to show your support and if you're that excited, then I will be sure to serve up a new Star Clan Speaks as quickly as possible instead of just leaving it to the next Friday. So if you guys are really curious and you really want to see more about the cats and you really want to have more of their questions answered, then just support like what we do if you don't mind, like not to push you guys into it. And then that really truly does give me the energy I need to be able to turn around and spend some extra time diving into the personalities and the dreams of these cats. So without further ado, today we are going to drive into Moss Clan's cats. We are going to be seeing Moss Leaf, Silver Fang, and the kit's Red Kit and Robin Kit. So let's see what kind of interesting questions you guys have come up with for them. Moss Leaf blinked nervously. She was a little bit surprised to find herself surrounded by so many members of Star Clan in her dream. But, well, odder things had happened. And there seemed to be such an aura of expectation from everyone. She settled in, ready to answer whatever questions they might have. A thin, pale silver cat named Yan Whisper stepped forward from the gathered crowd of quiet, watchful Star Clan cats. M Mossleaf and Yan Whisper exchanged polite nods. As this was a dream, somehow Mossleaf simply knew that Star Clan was here to ask her questions. Yan Whisper took a deep breath, then spoke in a soft voice that carried the cold touch of starlight with it. What was the name of your original clan, Mossleaf? My clan? Mosleaf meowed, confused. But wouldn't you already... Oh, I suppose since I came to this forest, I am... I am even walking in the territory of new Star Clan cats, aren't I? The stars are different overhead than they used to be, after all. All right, well, the clan I was born into was Fern Clan. It wasn't bad, really. Just, I can't really... Well, I didn't used to blame them for chasing me away. At least not until after I had Lizardpaw and Oakpaw. Part of me could understand their fear, especially with such traditional and strict cats as Rushclaw as our leader. But still, when she made my own father chase me out of our borders, 
I thought my heart was broken forever. Still, life with the forest spirit, at least I wasn't lonely. Then I met Lionstar, back when he was still Lion Sun, and Honeywish, and Briarstock, and Dogaze, and Fern Creek, and now I have my kits. My beautiful, beautiful kits. And they really are beautiful, even if they do have green on them, just like I do. And looking at them, I realize it wasn't right what my clan did. Even if they were scared, you can't turn your back on those you love just because they're different from you. Mossleaf paused, turning her head away as though lost in thought. Even if you aren't sure how to help them, or why they are the way they are, you love and support your kits no matter what. A spotted cat named Gleetel stood up from the back of the group, meowing out a question to echo Mossleaf's line of thought. How do you feel about Lizardpaw? Mossleaf took a deep breath, staring at all the cats of Star Clan with an unwavering gaze. I love my kits, no matter what. Sometimes they may be different, and I may be scared that I don't know how I can help them in the best way possible, but nothing will stop me from doing my best, even if that means their world will always be a little bit different than my own. Mouse Whisker, a very large, pale brown cat sitting near the front of the group, nodded as though pleased with Mossleaf's answer, and then meowed her own question. What was it like, discovering the green markings on the kits for the first time? Were you afraid? Overwhelmed? Happy? Curious? Mossleaf took a deep breath. All of that? Mostly afraid right at first, but afraid because I felt so, so guilty. She sighed and hung her head for a moment, her usual gentle expression shifting to something more intense and serious. That was a look she had had more and more ever since she had become a mother. I hadn't really thought, before they were born, what kind of effect the forest magic may have on them. I thought it was something that would only affect me. I was the one who almost died, after all, and I was the one who the forest spirit worked her magic on, the one who was given the green marks in the first place. So why did they have to carry that burden too? What would it mean when the other cats saw them with their markings? Would they be rejected like I was, simply for something so far out of their control? Was I to blame for how they would be treated in the future, for their green marks? Mossleaf sighed again and shook her head, her expression firm. In the end, I realized what was done was done, and that I loved them with every part of me, and Lionstar did too. I'm not sure what the world will hold for them because of their marks or their special abilities, but I will do my best to make sure that they know they are loved. A shining white Star Clan cat named Pearl Claw wove her way to the front of the crowd, sitting herself down beside Silverfang with a friendly smile. Silverfang, I'm wondering, are Bear Glow and Misty Pond your kits? My what? Silverfang laughed softly, tilting his head in amusement. No, no. I'm not sure where you may have gotten that idea, but I have nothing to do with Bear Glow and Misty Pond. In fact, I hardly know them. Before Honeywish found me and brought me to Moss Clan, I had never met either of them. He turned his head, his eyes narrowing in thought. Well, quite honestly, I still haven't properly met either of them. I know they occasionally go to the gatherings, just as I do, but from what Honeywish has told me about her experience with Bear Glow, I'm not sure if I want to get closer to a cat like that. Not to fault a medicine cat, of course. Just sometimes... Well, a cat's position doesn't promise that they will have a good personality. I'm not sure what Bear Glow is really like, but I prefer staying with Honeywish when we go to the gatherings. Her temper flares up quite a bit when he is around, and it is better to sit with her at the edge of the clearing and make sure there are no repeated performances on Bear Glow's part. An athletic young cat with classic tabby spots wiggled with excitement in front of Silverfang, her eyes bright with questions. Does that mean you've never had any kits? Or a mate? What about the rest of your past? The question burst out of her excitedly, and several curious meows broke out from the group around them. Silverfang smiled indulgently, an amused expression on his face. Oh, well, that's a lot of story to tell right there. I'm not a young cat, after all, and I have seen some exciting things in my days. Still, to answer the question of kits or mates, Silverfang shook his head, a wistful look in his eyes. No, a brief mate here or there, perhaps, like any wandering Tom, but I've never... His voice trailed off, and he sighed heavily, turning his head to stare into the shadows. Well, I'm an old cat now, and love... Just being quietly in love is enough for me. I have never known what it is like to truly have a mate or kids, 
but not everyone does. Learning the best part of that story and finding a home with those you love and admire is enough for me in this life. There were soft sighs and a few knowing glances from the group around him. Quite a few of the more observant Star Clan cats began gently nudging the curious, oblivious kits away from the Silver Elder. He had answered something truly special and close to his heart. For now, they could leave him be. Star Clan watched on with amusement as the dream between Robin Kit and Red Kit continued. The two kits were playing with one another, tackling and pawing at the other's ears and tail, even from within their dream. Amused meows rippled out from the gathered Star Clan cats, as first one kit, then the other, scored a playful smack on the nose or tripped over their own paws while trying to dive at their sibling. Finally, one of the gathered cats called out a question to the two kits. Robin Kit! Red Kit! What do you want to be when you grow up? A warrior? A medicine cat? A warrior, of course, Red Kit called out, diving for his sister again. I want to grow up to be big and strong like Oak Paw and Lion Star. Squirrelleep says I look just like them. Plus, they get to bring back the best prey for the prey pile. They got a big squirrel the other day. It was huge. We played with its tail for a long time. At least, until Mossleaf told us to stop. Red Kit sighed, disappointed. She said we have to be more respectful with our food. Which isn't fair! I've seen the way she plays with lizard tails before she eats them sometimes. I want... Robin Kit hesitated, dodging her brother's playful attacks as she thought. I want to be... Me! She squeaked, pleased with her answer. I want to be Robin Paw. And then... I don't know what yet. That's such a long ways away, I think. It is as far as the green leaf, and I hear that it is so, 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 so far away until green leaf. Like more than three days of sleeping in the nursery away. Even longer than that. Robin Kit danced in place, her tiny face scrunched up in thought. I want to play with the leaves and catch a bird and play with its feathers and gather flowers like we did for Doge's and help her make them look pretty in the medicine cat den again. But I don't want know what I want to do after that. A large, friendly-looking tomcat with lots of extra rolls of well-fed fur watched the kits play with a pleased look in his eyes. With a soft huff, he lifted one paw to clean his whiskers, then asked his question. Well, Red Kit, Robin Kit, how do you feel about not being born with any green, like your older brothers? The kits blinked at the tomcat, the question subduing them. Red Kit pawed at the ground, wrestling with a piece of moss, then glanced at his sister. I am still going to be a great warrior. Lionstar doesn't have any green on him, and he's strong too, he meowed, sounding a bit defensive and unsure of himself. Robin Kit wiggled in place, her eyes cast to the ground, before looking up at her brother for support. I don't mind. I look different from Mossleaf and Lizardpaw and Oakpaw. That's all. Star Clan shifted quietly around them, exchanging glances. They hadn't meant to make the two kits so subdued. Finally, one cat called out from the back, a playful tone in her voice. Kits! If you were leader, what would you do to help Moss Clan? The kits laughed at the question, rolling over one another as their playful mood came back. I'd fill the trees with squirrels so we could catch all of them and make the prey piles so, 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 so big! Bigger than even High Boulder, and Oakpaw says it's huge! Red Kit squeaked, his excitement catching him so hard he began to spin in circles chasing his tail. Beside him, Robin Kit jumped up and down in place, equally excited. I'd collect all the pretty feathers from the birds and put them everywhere in little lines, she squeaked, breathlessly excited by her new idea. And all the pretty flowers and some of the tiny, shiny pebbles by the water pond, and maybe some of those glowy mushrooms, and maybe some of the snail shells, and I'd organize them into neat little piles, and, and, Robin Kit gasped for breath, and it'd all be so pretty, she meowed finally, her voice extremely loud for such a tiny kit. Red Kit squeaked beside her and rolled his eyes, then the two began to play again. Alright, and there we go, you guys. So that is one of our first Star Clan Speaks episodes. It's still a format and a entire side series that I'm filling out and trying to get the best idea of how to present to you guys, but I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something interesting about the cats that you helped walk in the dreams of tonight, and I hope you guys can leave some really interesting questions. And don't forget, the reason that we picked these cats tonight were because they were among the cats who had the highest upvotes for questions, and so if you 
really want to try to influence one cat over another to have a dream visited, then make sure you do the upvotes on the questions in the comments because it'll really, really help me to figure out who is the cat that everybody's the most curious about and who to focus on. So just remember that. And remember, I know this seemed like it was a little bit brief, but it actually took several hours to prepare in the background and it added a lot of new content and lore and a few references to some very important plot points that you guys will probably be able to catch on the main series. I'm so glad to be able to share these stories, these cats, all of the adventures we've gone on with you guys, and I cannot wait to hear more of your questions or your comments or your theories. I really love reading your theories about their personalities or your theories about what the cat's past are like or what their futures may contain, and I'm really excited to share all of that with you guys in the future. So like I said earlier, um, if you really enjoy this or you really want to know more answers to these kinds of burning questions that you're just dying of curiosity with, then leave comments and support and kindness to one another in the comment section and it really helps to give me the energy I need to spend the several hours it does take behind the scenes to prepare all of this for you. So the dawn arrives and Star Clan goes back to sleep for now, but I cannot wait to see what kind of interesting answers the cats will have for us next time. So until then guys, I'll see you all later. Bye bye!